Yeah, hello and welcome to this data engineering module 10 that is uh, processing data for ML machine learning. So, I am going to discuss about the KC about this module 10 KC. I already opened in a new sheet. Yeah, I can start this uh, uh, question. I will also put this one in a full screen. Yeah, the first uh, question a data scientist who works for a healthcare company. Uh, wants to develop a an ML model to predict which patients like are uh, are likely to develop hypertension. One data source includes uh, anonymized tabular data, uh, which include which fields include age, weight, uh, activity level, and uh, smoker. Which statement describes how data fits into the ML model? So you can say uh, age, weight, and activity levels are features yes you can take that features just say submit yeah this is correct and the second question which statement about the ml life cycle reflects the typical role assignments uh, it is uh, typically yeah the data engineer is primarily focused on data collection yeah, you can take this yes that is correct the third question the sales department has asked the data science team to build an ML model to help them to predict uh, which customers to target for a new product line, which reason might prevent from choosing the ML approach. The sales team has a limited knowledge, uh, limited amount of uh, uh, data about customers behaviors, I can say that, yeah this is correct. The fourth one. A company wants to collect data to be used uh, in a supervised learning machine learning model to predict which club benefits increase customers retention in a shopping club. Uh, the data scientist has identified a potential data source within the company's internal database. Which task would they likely be responsible of the data engineer? So, the answer should be this is the fourth one, the answer should be I mean uh, evaluate the integrity of the data source that the data scientist has suggested, yeah that is correct. Which is a common strategy for pre-processing phase of a machine learning life cycle. So, this is uh, I mean balance and unbias the data, this is uh, correct. Sixth one. A data scientist is working uh, with the data set that has high dimensionally dimensionality. Which approach, uh, approach might uh, take to improve the data set for their ML model? Uh, identify the features that do not appear the impact of the customers and remove them. Yeah, okay. This is sixth, seventh one. A company is starting an ML project to predict whether the given credit card transaction appears to be fraudulent. What should the ML architect keep in mind when designing the model uh, development and deployment uh, infrastructure? So, yet uh, training a model uh, generally requires much higher levels of compute rather than running a deployed model. Yeah, you can take this, yes this is correct, seventh one. Eighth. A data scientist in a startup organization is usual using several internal data sets to start a project to experiment with ML. They do not have a data engineer and the infrastructure does not, uh, I mean team does not have experience with running ML applications. So, which approach would help the data scientist to get, uh, to get uh, started on the project? So, this should be. I mean use the sales maker that should be the best one, sales maker features to perform model deployment, yeah that is correct. A business analyst wants to use a CSV file uh, that they built uh, to test a hypothesis about predicting an uh, outcome which approach uh, could simplify their work. So, this is uh, I mean use Amazon SageMaker Canvas, that should be better, 
Yeah. And the last question, a developer without ML experience wants to automatically localize documents uh, that are uploaded to their web application. Which AWS service uh, must uh, might be a good choice to integrate with their application? So this is uh, Translate. This is Translate. Yeah, you have all questions correct. That is hundred percent. Okay, we will choose the next module uh, for the KC. Thank you and bye.